Deadly gunfire erupts overnight in Waianae, the fourth high-profile shooting in the past month. Eric Nacton tells us what led to four people being killed and two injured. Four people are dead, including a suspect, and two wounded after an apparent overnight shooting in Waianae. The address, 851300 Waianae Valley Road. Just after 11.15 p.m. yesterday, officers responded to multiple 911 calls coming from a Waianae residence reporting that their neighbor was operating a front loader and using it to ram multiple cars into the home. Multiple individuals were in the carport and fled or tried to flee when the suspect opened fire, striking the victims. At some point, a 42-year-old male resident of the home fatally shot the suspect with a handgun. Five victims sustained gunshot wounds. The deceased victims are a 34-year-old female, a 36-year-old female, and a 29-year-old female. The 42-year-old male resident who shot the suspect has been arrested for murder in the second degree. During the course of the investigation, it was discovered that the front loader was carrying four 55-gallon drums containing an unknown fuel. Some witnesses reported that the suspect shot rounds into those drums. Came home from work and then ready to put my head down and all I heard was gunshots. Shane Jardine is a longtime security guard at Waianae High School. He also is a resident of Waianae Valley. He says what he heard on Saturday evening was a first. A very surprise. I was like very close. like. Maybe like a couple blocks away, probably. Just very alarmed, like I jumped up, had to make sure, come out of my house, make sure it wasn't like, like, like right outside our door. I never think nothing of it because somebody's always shooting up here. Some are asking, are possible staffing shortages at HPD impacting crime numbers? Staffing shortages don't cause crime. Crime happens because individuals take a choice, make a choice amongst themselves to do something. So we can deter crime from time to time um, when we're patrolling and in the areas as we are. Uh, but unfortunately, like this incident, which happened in a neighborhood um, tucked away in the Waianae area, very difficult for something like neighbor to neighbor, for, for us to be able to stop a neighbor on neighbor dispute. The shooting is the latest in a growing number of crimes along the Waianae coast that recently generated increased police presence in the region. Detectives are continuing their investigation of Saturday's shootings, including witness interviews, surveillance video review, and recovery of evidence. Eric Nacton, Island News.